rough today? Uh, I thought Tyler did have a good day. Uh, you know, I know we uh, we still uh, got him and Mike. He still uh, split some reps. Taylor got a lot, got, got a, a majority of the reps he normally gets, and I uh, thought he thought he looked good today. Do you understand the the, the fans, maybe it's even media, wanting to see Burko because of how well he's gone? Well, I, mean, I know that you don't base that on your decision, but do you yeah. get it? I mean. Well, I mean, I, uh, you know, the thing I'm excited about is that you know, Mike, Mike got the opportunity to go out and uh, uh, and lead this football team, and he did that. And uh, that's that was what his job was. I mean, I, that's the thing I don't understand sometimes when people talk about, you know, uh, you know, guys that are maybe not first team players, uh, you know, to start the season. I mean, when their opportunity comes, you know, you got to be able to, to go out there and perform. And Burke did, exa you know, did exactly what uh, uh, what we wanted from him, and uh, you know, he helped lead this team to, to two victories. And um, you know, he's going to continue to work and get better. And you know, I'm, I'm, I believe we have the best two quarterbacks in the country. And so uh, yeah, that's a great situation for us. It's a great situation for the competition, uh, you know, moving forward and, uh, and and how we, you know, how we approach every practice, every rep. But but uh, this football team knows we've got two tremendous quarterbacks. Can you talk about just Taylor's evolution over the last week or so coming back and we're getting back into things? You know, I've never, I mean, uh, you know, just basically how every, Taylor Kelly does everything he does is how he rehabs. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's done a tremendous job of, uh, of getting himself back out and ready and, uh, you really look better. I mean, pre in, in the pregame, you know, watching him move around, uh, it was unbelievable. I mean, he was going, he was going full speed. You know, he was available to play, um, but you know, he didn't really get as much practice, as many practice reps last week as, as what we'd like. But uh, you know, we, we we prepared, and he was he was available to play if we needed him last week. Obviously, um, you know, that wasn't the case. But uh, you know, he's he had a good weekend, and you know, he's ready to go this week. What are the challenges of finding ways to work them both into a game? You know, I mean, it's you know we're going to go into to, to this football game. You know, Taylor, uh, uh, you know Taylor is our start, starting quarterback, and uh, you know we're going to go out there and we're going to put together a tremendous plan. And uh, um, you know, I know Burke will be will be ready to go, just like he you know just like he always is ready to go. Uh, um, you know, when you're looking at you know having two guys that talented that, that both can make plays. I mean, you always have to see see what situations are, arise and what come up. But uh, um, you know, I know both those guys will be ready to play. Talk about blessing in disguise. As coach was saying that you guys are even stronger now with uh, Taylor being out and Mike having that time to develop. In case you know, um, no question. I mean, it's it's so it's so hard to to simulate that game experience. And uh, you know, and Mike got three three starts against three top twenty five teams, and you know, you know, played well. He did, did a lot of great things, and you know, just his comfort level, the growth that I've seen in Mike Bergevici in the last three weeks has been incredible. Uh, you know, just his, you know, you can always talk about it. He's extremely smart. You know, he's, he always knows, you know, knows uh, the reads and, you know, the progressions. But whenever you get out there and have to have to do it at, at game pace, you know, there's been tremendous growth for him. Um, you know, it, it gives us a, a great deal of uh, confidence. But I, I was pretty dang confident at the beginning of the year that I knew he had two really good quarterbacks. And uh, um, and so, you know, seeing them being able to go out there and execute is, is always a great thing. Washington's athletic and aggressive defensively. Can you talk about just what you see from them? You know, they got a tremendous, uh, you know, tremendous football team tremendous defense I think they're you know one of the top in the country at getting takeaways I think I've already had 15 takeaways on the season um, you know one of the one of the best teams in the country impacting the quarterback you look at their front seven very experienced uh, I think they've got you know five five of the seven uh, are seniors uh, the other two are you know, also tremendous players um, you know I think they got probably the best best corner one of the best corners in the league uh, and Peters out there on the perimeter and so you know they are they're, they're really good defense I mean they're they're built in to try to create havoc and and uh, force them to opponents to, to, to turn the ball over, to take negative plays. And so the biggest thing we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we, we don't give them those, those opportunities. We've got to do a great job of, of owning the ball. We've got to do a great job of uh, uh, eliminating negative plays. And uh, if we do that, then uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be a fun matchup. Chuck, running game picked up last week up in Stanford, but how much does Taylor Kelly help the, the running game? Under the well, I mean, I think, I mean, I think obviously Taylor, you know, we know that's a skill, you know, a, a, a definitely a, a positive for him is, you know, his leg and how he can extend plays and the different things that he can do. And so uh, I think it I think it continues to bring a different element, just like with every running back that we have, just like every you know every player has their their, uh, their strengths that they have. But I think that can be something that uh, that, that does help our run game. Um, you know, we're going to take what the defense gives us. And I thought we did a good job last week. I thought we probably missed a couple of opportunities uh, in, in some in some of our uh, in, in in our run game. But uh, you know, looking forward to getting those corrected and, and moving forward. And Coach Graham has said that uh, both quarterbacks should play. 
in this game. How do you, what are the challenges of kind of game planning for two different quarterbacks with different skill sets? Well, you said it's, it's really, you know, the situations. And I mean, the, you know, the, um, you know, as we're, as we're moving forward, we know we've got, uh, I'm not worried about, you know, how Mike would respond when he takes the field. And so, you know, we look, you know, we look at the, uh, you know, the game plan and we put it all together. And, you know, both those guys are preparing to, to play every single snap. And because that's it, you have to do Whether you're the one or you're the two, uh, you got to have that mental uh, approach. And then, that, you know, my job is just uh, on how, how we want to figure that together and how you mix and match them. Is this a team that's just